welcome to Body Electric. Today's program will feature exercises for the following muscle groups. Pectorals, the back, abdominals, inner thighs, and gluteals. Please have the following items available for the workout. A mat, weights, a chair, and a towel. And now, here is your host, Margaret Richard. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the workout. I'm here with Jabos and Kathy. And no, I didn't just get out of the shower. We're going to use the towel for the warm-up. So grab your towel, get a little tension going side to side, press the shoulders, bend the knees, and let's warm it up and down. And up and down. Now, I am really pulling side to side. I mean, big time. So I get some tension going there. Lift the elbow, shoulder high. And up. And pull and push. Great way to warm up the muscles. Now we're going to do a circle. Slowly. And pull and push. Other way. And down. Lengthen the arm. And pull it down. To the chest and press and in. Make sure the knees are slightly bent. Now, if the towel's hanging down in the middle, that tells you you're not pulling hard enough, so pull it side to side. But relax the fingers slightly. Now, let's take it overhead, up and back. Up and back. Now we're going to change it by bringing the elbows forward and back. And up and down. Separate the shoulder blades. Move the back. And more. Pull and open up. And lift and lower. Pull the towel kind of against your head. Do more. it up to the side and stretch and stretch long movement stretch from the hip to the fingertips the same thing but we're going to take it in so it's in and reach again and again Take it over, other side, in, and reach, take it in, and reach, and let's take it to the middle and down, push it up, we're warming up because we got some important uh, activities to do this half hour, and uh, we're going to be ready for them. It's important that we have equal strength in our chest and our back so we're able to stand up nice and tall and not be round shouldered. So let's go ahead and do the chest project now. Run our backs, one leg bent up so that your lower back is chest. And some of you might even want to bring both legs up. Make sure that your lower back is on the floor. And we're going to round the arms as if they're around a barrel. So here we go, all the way up. And up and down. The arms are moving as a result of your chest muscles contracting, so contract and lengthen. Remember, the arms are curved as if they are reaching around a barrel. And as you take it down, your elbows just about touch the floor. Relax the fingers. Lower back press to the floor. Keep it going. And up and down. which is straight out from the shoulders. Don't have your arms higher than your shoulders. It's a very clean position. Now 
we're going to take it halfway up and halfway up and down. Take it slowly. Feel the resistance. Make sure that if you're using weights that they're heavy enough for you. The worst that can happen if they're too heavy is you just put them down. And the way that you know that they're too heavy is not that your arms get a little shaky, but that the form goes. So the form is much more important than the repetition. Just at the bottom and small. Emphasis up. Emphasis up. Very small. Stay in the muscle. Stay in the contraction. Lower back is down using the chest. Pectoral muscle. From the beginning, all the way up and down. I'm wondering if Javot can hear me giving the instructions or if he just can kind of see into the future and know what I'm going to do before I even do it. <laughs> Since he can't see me at all in this position. <laughs> Take it halfway up, halfway only. But you already knew that, right, Javos? <laughs> Next time I'm going to make the change and not say anything. Let's see how smart you are then. <laughs> I just like to give him a hard time. How long have you been with us, Javos, doing the show? Maybe three or four years. And Kathy, God, we started when we were little kids, didn't we? <laughs> it's been years. We've grown young together. At the bottom and emphasis up use the chest muscles just when you thought you couldn't do another one you do about another 20. last oh last 600 559 558 would you kill me all of a sudden body electric would be the least watched program on television okay very slowly eight caps up up, up, use the chest, use the chest to raise the arms, and all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. But you know that's your voice, right? <laughs> Good work. As I mentioned, we want to have strength in the back and the chest, so they kind of counterbalance each other so we're not rounded or um, in an um, unbalanced situation. So now we're going to work the back muscles on our back. This time I'd like to ask you to bring the knees kind of to the chest so the lower back is really protected. We're going to start with the elbows bent so the arm is kind of at a right angle forming the letter L and we're going to keep this angle going so it's to the back and down. Slowly and controlled. One and two and one and two. Reach all the way back. All the way back, as if the weights were just about to touch the floor. All the way back. We're going to change and send the arms straight up and back. Back and two to the center. One and two and one and two. Keep the elbows just slightly bent. Now you can feel this in the upper back as well as the lats, which uh, also help uh, make up the upper back. Reach all the way back. Hold in your abdomen, support your back. The back is pressed to the floor. And more. Stretch. All the way back. Relax the fingers. Even if you have no weight, this is an excellent exercise to do even without weight because you get the stretch. Working into the back. You know, when we work the back, we're also, you can feel that you're working into the shoulders a little, into the triceps. So sometimes you get some little added uh, bonuses. Okay, let's bend the elbows as we did in the beginning. So let's take it for two. One and two. And down and bottom. Remember the uh, elbows are bent and they stay at the angle all the time. Reach back. 
what's the key to this uh, exercise being successful is that you get the weights just to that touch the floor because if we were on a bench and we could reach lower than our head, that would even be preferable. And back, and down. Middle, and back. Okay, last few, just stay to the back. So just take it up and down. Small movement, stay in the smallest range. Pressing the back down, and now take it all the way down, and we've done the chest and the back. In working the abdominal muscles, I'm going to use the chair to help me make the movement intense. Now, my workout pals here are not using the chair, so you have the choice, and uh, I like the chair, but the uh, choice is yours. So the correct position is to have the knees directly over the hips, and uh, I have the chair anchored with the weight so that it doesn't slide. Let's, in any case, have our knees uh, back shoulder width apart. And the head back, the elbows open. Here we go. And lift and lower. Try to keep the shoulder blades off the floor. And lift and down. The important thing here is that the form is correct because if your form is correct, you're going to get a lot out of the exercise. It's going to really benefit you. Now up for two. Hold it at the top. Two and down. And two. We want to get the muscle contracted and in fact stay in the contraction. So we're not bringing the shoulders all the way down. We want to get that muscle tired. And that's how it gets strong. And before you know it, you'll have a, an abdominal area that's tight and flat. Okay, now we're going to try to lift the hips and the shoulders simultaneously. So if you're not using a chair, you simply contract and lift your hips. At the same time, you're lifting your shoulders. And it's kind of like hinging into the middle. But let me caution you about pulling your head forward. That doesn't accomplish anything except getting your shoulder area tired in your neck. We're hinging into the middle. So think about dropping the head back and lifting the head, neck, and shoulders as if they were inflexible, kind of one unit. And squeeze the gluteal muscles. You're curling into the middle. Breathe out, breathe in. Blow the air out and in. Up for two, hold at the top. Hold it and down. And hold it and down. You notice that we're not extending fully. We're tightening and then slightly relaxing to start again on the contraction. Drop the head back. Make sure the feet are slightly in front of the knees. Now we're going to do another variation, kind of using the same movement. We're bringing the knee in and down. We're lifting the shoulders and the hips at the same moment, making it a little more intense by bringing the knee toward the chest. The lower back is pressed to the floor. Keep it going. It's not a big movement. The knee isn't moving all the way into the chest because the hips are lifting at the same moment that the knee is coming in. So you basically stay contracted in the center, make those muscles tired. Drop the head back and breathe. Squeeze and extend. Okay, let's just take it to the top of the range and up and up. Go ahead and lift the hips and the shoulders at the same moment and breathe. Drop the head back. This will get the job that I promise. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's lengthen. You can arch the back slightly, lengthen the abdominal muscles, and then simply bring the knees to the chest and relax. Now, we wouldn't think of neglecting our inner thighs because, well, that's as important as any other area. And, you know, we give equal opportunity to all our muscles. So let's do it properly on our back, placing the hands under the hips so that we can have the legs at a right angle to the body. The feet are straight over the hips. And if that's not good for you, go ahead and bend the knees. So take it out and in. Very precise movement. I want you to press and press. 
again, it's very important with this exercise that the lower back be on the ground, that we're not straining the lower back. So that means the legs have to be directly over the hips. Your legs are falling forward because you're in flex. We have less flexibility. You can go ahead and bend your knees. This is not a contest of flexibility, actually. It's a control thing. So we don't want to flop the legs all the way out. We stop just short of our of our uh, the farthest point of the movement. Out for three. Hold it. One, two, and three. Now cross it. One, two, three. Cross it over. And cross it. Holding the abdomen. Now just sing over the cross. And add and cross. Add and cross. Cross. You know, you always have to customize the workout. Do what works for your body. We all have little uh, little things that we have to be careful about. Each body is unique. And part of being fit is learning to respect your body, your fitness level. So if you need to change the exercise slightly to accommodate yourself, or uh, perhaps you simply can't do a particular exercise, it just isn't good for you. Part of being fit is knowing your limitations and your strengths. We're going to come up only halfway, so it's out and lift, slowly, controlled, and halfway. You know, if you had a, say, a spring between your knees and you had to press against it to make it smaller, I want you to use that resistance. Emphasis on the inside movement. Make sure the hands are well under the hips so the legs are straight up. Now we're going to take it all the way up. Out and the feet come together. And out. If your legs are a little shaky, make sure that you're working through it, but if the legs are coming forward and shaky, if you're losing your form, then it's time to stop and take a stretch. Because the great thing about working out is that your endurance and your strength will definitely increase. Guaranteed, promise. Last one, bring it down. Let's go ahead and bring it down. And sit up and let's stretch by sitting, stretching into the extended leg, both legs. Well, I have the chair back. Working the gluteal muscles, I'm going to show you another variation using the chair. And Jabose and Kathy will do it without the chair. So either way, you're going to get a great workout. Okay, in the case of using the chair, I have the knees just above the hips. If you're not using the chair, you have your knees about shoulder width apart and the feet are slightly in front of the knees. In any case, we're going to lift the hips with the lower back on the floor. So it's up and down. And up and down. Mr. Music was just a little slower than I was there. And as you know, Mr. Music always wins. Now up for two. And hold it and down. Squeeze hard and down. Now, as I mentioned, you want to have um, the lower back attached to the floor, and you're, that's your anchor. You're pulling the hips up and away from it. And squeeze hard and down. Keep it going. Tight at the top, a double pulse, what I call a power pulse. And you may call it a power pulse as well. You know, part of getting a muscle tired is that it takes some repetition to get to the good part where, where you're really feeling the fatigue. So this is the part just getting there. Okay, hold it up, knees in and out. It's a small movement. And we're staying in the muscle. There's no release here. So you should not be moving your hips at all. It's just the knees. Now just tap the knees and tap and tap and tap. Constantly squeezing. Squeezing as hard as you can. Both 
also a good exercise for the lower back, and you can feel it all down the hamstring if you're doing it properly. Hold the knees together to stay apart, up and down, but it's a small movement, so we stay in the contraction, and you're tightening. Before you know it, you're going to have a very different um, profile than you've ever had. Hold it up and let's tap the knees. Tap, tap, tap. Squeeze as hard as you can. Use the muscle, make it work. You know, the wonderful thing about the human body is it's very adaptive. If we ask our muscles to be stronger, they will. And if we ask our cardiovascular system to have more endurance, it will. We just have to ask it. We have to demand it. Uh, likewise, on the other hand, if we don't ask it, it's going to get weak and uh, our muscles will atrophy. So it's up to us to make them work for us. Let's bring the ankles and knees together and up and up. The emphasis is on the squeeze, on the squeeze. Now I'd like you to not just casually have the knees and ankles together, but really squeeze them. If you have your feet on the floor, go ahead and press into the heels to intensify the exercise. The inner thighs, the knees and the ankles are firmly pressed together. And the movement is very small, very tight. Three or four minutes uh, several times a week. Let me caution you that if you wait more than three days to exercise muscle, it's going to do a backslide. And we don't want to have any backsliding. And just hold it, hold it, no movement. Squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze harder, harder, harder. Okay, and bring the knees to the chest. We've done a good job on that one. I'd like to offer some food for thought before we cool down. You know, I've heard this question many times. People ask, am I ever too old to start exercising? Well, I have a question in return. Are we ever too old to be young? And the answer is no, because being young means being flexible, being vital, having a great quality to our life. So keep exercising with us. Go out and take that 30 minute walk, watch your diet and feel great. And now let's cool down. and reach Close. I was here 